what we need to do is we are going to learn how to find all the values of x. No, I'm sorry, this is a different one. No, find all the values of x such that f of x equals 0. So we want to determine when f of x equals 0. So on this problem, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find all the values of x that make our function equal 0. Remember, f is our name, and x is the value here, and here's the function. So what we want to do is we want to find out what values of x are going to make our function 0. So if here's our original function, we're going to say 0 is the value we want. What values for x are going to do that? So when we can't just originally solve for the values, the first thing that we want to do is we want to find the values x. Do you have a question? Okay. What we want to do is if we can't, since we have two variables, we're going to want to see if we can put these as a set of linear factors. So what we'll do is we'll say 0 equals, uh, 0 equals, and I see what can I factor out? Well, I can factor out an x, and when I factor out an x, I'm left with an x squared minus 1. Now, since I have this as a set of linear factors, I can separate this. I can say x equals 0 and x squared minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, one linear factor is going to be 0. And for the rest of these, I'm going to have to solve for x. So I add a 1 on both sides. Then I have x squared equals 1. Take the square root. So therefore, I have x equals plus or minus 1. So therefore, all of the values that make my function 0, hold on please, are going to be x equals 0, 1, and negative 1. Thank you.